Perhaps this is a visitor, an intelligent visitor from another solar system. Three months ago, astronomers thought they'd found just another comet. They cataloged it, named it 3i Atlas, and moved on. But then Avi Loeb, the guy who ran Harvard's astronomy department, started looking at the data. 4,000 observations from 227 observatories around the globe of 3i Atlas. By the 12th anomaly, he realized he might be looking at something that wasn't natural at all. You're here because you've heard whispers that scientists found something they can't explain. What if I told you it's worse than that? What if they can explain it, but the explanation terrifies them? Of 3i Atlas, the way it moved across the sky, and we found that it did not deviate at all. In this video, I'm going to walk you through all 12 reasons why one of the world's top astronomers thinks we might have just discovered our first piece of alien technology. Even if one of Loeb's theories is right, everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe is about to change. Subscribe to Space Aquarius and let's begin. First, let me tell you about Avi Loeb. This isn't some fringe researcher, this is the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department. He ran Harvard's Black Hole Initiative. He's published hundreds of papers and written textbooks. So when he says something might be alien technology, people listen, even if they don't want to. And here's what's got him fired up. Every single comet expert who looked at 3i Atlas immediately said it was just a normal comet. But Loeb points out something crucial. These experts are trained only on natural objects from our solar system. Think about this for a second. We've been launching stuff into space since the 1960s. Just this year, astronomers accidentally cataloged Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster as an asteroid before realizing it was a car we launched in 2018. If we can barely recognize our own technology in space, how would we recognize someone else's? Now let's talk about why scientists are freaking out. This object's trajectory is absolutely perfect, too perfect. It's moving backwards compared to planets, but aligned within five degrees of our solar system's plane. The odds? Two in a thousand. But here's where it gets scary. The timing of its arrival was precise enough to bring it within tens of millions of miles of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, while being completely invisible from Earth when it was nearest to the Sun. Loeb calculated the odds of this happening naturally. It's five in a hundred thousand. That's not a coincidence, guys. That's precision. And get this. It came from almost the exact same spot in the sky as the famous WOW signal from 1977. This radio signal that everyone thought might be aliens trying to contact us. The chances of that alignment? Less than 1%. Here's what's really got scientists scared. When they analyzed what's coming off this object, they found massive amounts of nickel compared to iron. Not just a little more. We're talking about ratios you'd find in manufactured nickel alloys. The kind we make in factories for industrial applications. The nickel to cyanide ratio is orders of magnitude different from every single comet we've ever studied including the other interstellar visitor Borisov, which was supposedly from outside our solar system too, but Borisov looked normal. This thing doesn't. Comets are supposed to be mostly ice, right? This thing is only 4% water. That's like calling a desert a lake because there's a puddle somewhere. But here's the smoking gun that's got even skeptics worried. This object is shooting out jets of material that stretch for millions of miles. These jets are perfectly straight, like laser beams, pointing in multiple directions. Now here's the problem that's keeping physicists up at night. This object rotates. We know it spins because we've measured it. While these jets are forming over weeks, the object should be spinning dozens of times. Those jets should be spiraling out in all directions like a cosmic pinwheel. But they're not. They're maintaining perfect straight lines in specific directions. Loeb says this is physically impossible with our current understanding of physics. Unless, and this is the part that's terrifying, traditional scientists, unless those aren't natural jets at all, unless they're technological thrusters maintaining deliberate orientation. Near the sun, 3i Atlas accelerated in a way that gravity can't explain. For a normal comet, that happens when ice vaporizes and pushes it like a rocket. But here's the thing. For this object to accelerate the way it did, it would need to blow off at least 13% of its entire mass. We're talking about an object that weighs roughly 22 trillion pounds, based on estimates. That means it would need to lose about 2.9 trillion pounds. That's like 145 million dump trucks worth of material, but still looks exactly the same because when we check the images after its close approach to the sun, the object is still intact. How do you accelerate without losing mass? You don't, unless you have engines. 
So let's talk about what everyone's thinking, but most scientists are too scared to say. What if this is alien technology? Loeb points out that our galaxy has a hundred billion stars like the sun. About 10 billion of them probably have Earth-like planets. Most of these stars are billions of years older than ours. Our Voyager spacecraft, with its ancient 1970s technology, could reach the other side of the galaxy in a billion years. So aliens have had plenty of time to send stuff our way. And if they're even slightly more advanced than us, which they probably are if they're sending interstellar probes, their technology might look exactly like what we're seeing with 3i Atlas. Think about it. Precise navigation to multiple planets. Thrusters that maintain orientation regardless of rotation. Materials that don't match natural compositions. Arrival from the direction of a mysterious radio signal. This isn't random, this is a pattern. Let me lay out what we're really looking at here. An object moving faster than the previous two interstellar visitors despite being more massive than both combined. Light polarization that's never been seen in any natural object. It brightened faster than any comet ever observed and was bluer than the sun. Jets that require an impossibly large surface area to produce naturally. Perfect structural integrity despite massive acceleration. Any one of these things would be weird. All 12 together? That's not a coincidence. That's evidence. Here's what's about to go down. In the next few weeks, we're getting spectroscopy data that will tell us exactly what's in those jets. If that data shows normal comet materials, scientists will breathe a sigh of relief and make up some story about exotic ice. But if that data shows something that can't be produced by solar heating, if it shows artificial compounds or impossible physics, then we're looking at the biggest discovery in human history. And here's the thing, Loeb's not backing down. He's already shown that mainstream scientists were wrong about black holes, wrong about gravitational waves, wrong about quantum mechanics. The establishment has been wrong before and they're probably wrong now. If 3i Atlas is artificial, it means we're not alone. It means someone out there has technology advanced enough to send probes between stars. It means they might know we're here. But even scarier, it means they might have been visiting for a long time. How many other comets were actually probes? How many did we miss because nobody was looking for technology? Look guys, I know this sounds insane. But the evidence is right there. 12 different anomalies that can't be explained by natural physics. A Harvard scientist putting his reputation on the line to warn us. And an establishment so scared of the implications that they're trying to pretend it's all normal. The question isn't whether 3i Atlas is weird. Everyone agrees it's weird. The question is whether we're brave enough to consider what that weirdness might mean. Are we looking at a natural phenomenon that breaks our physics? Or are we looking at humanity's first confirmed contact with alien technology? Loeb says we should hedge our bets, spend equal money looking for both microbes and technology. But the establishment won't do it. They're too scared of what they might find. The public deserves to know the truth, and polls show people are way more interested in finding aliens than finding microbes. So why is the establishment ignoring what we want? Here's what I think. They know something's up with 3i Atlas they see the same anomalies Loeb sees. But admitting it might be artificial would change everything. Religion, philosophy, our entire understanding of our place in the universe. And they're not ready for that. But ready or not, the truth is coming. Because objects like 3i Atlas don't care about our comfort zones. They're going to keep showing up, keep breaking our physics, until we can't ignore them anymore. So what do you think? Are we witnessing humanity's first contact with alien technology? Or is the establishment right that this is just a weird comet? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you think people deserve to know about this, share this video. Subscribe for updates. Because I promise you, this story is just beginning. The truth is out there and it might be flying through our solar system right now.